You waving? Say hey. <laughs> Peace y'all, Honey Magic here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine essentially. So my skincare routine is not that as consistent as I would have liked since becoming a mom really. I've just been more going with the flow because with a child life just becomes a lot more unpredictable. Um, but basically I would say I try to do face masks once a week which I'm going to so show you and then I wash my face one to two times a day and moisturize my face afterwards as well two times a day. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my skincare routine for uh, the day, starting with my facial mask, then washing my face and moisturizing and all that. But my whole thing when it comes to skincare is keep it simple. I think the simpler the better. You don't need to be putting a lot of stuff on your face. You don't need to be doing a lot, messing with your face a lot. And then stay hydrated and, you know, eat well. Things like that. The same old, same old. <laughs> Y'all already know. So, let's do this. So, I start off with using bentonite clay. Um, this is the kind that I get from Amazon. And I'll be linking all the things that I use. So, I start with some of that in the bowl. Now, I'm just making a facial mask for myself right now. And just my face. And I'll probably put a little bit on a patch of eczema that I have. So, that's another thing. This is super great for eczema or any other you know skin sensitivities like it's even good to just put this stuff in your bath in a warm bath it's just great for your skin to absorb so starting off with bentonite clay and then i'm gonna put a little bit of activated charcoal in here so i've got some charcoal powder in there and now i'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric and voila we have our three powders for the base of the face mask then i'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar and make sure you use apple cider vinegar with the mother um, yeah i'm kind of low on apple cider vinegar right now so i may need to substitute for water depending on how much how the consistency is with this amount of powder um my brother made a face mask last night and he used my apple cider vinegar so just gonna add a little bit. You wanna make sure the consistency is enough so it's like a paste, but not too thick that you can't spread it. But you also don't want it too runny. So all done. Personally, this is the consistency that I like because it's easy to spread and you can thicken it up in places wherever you need. Um, but you know, use your discretion, like how thick you want it to be. If you want it to be thinner, then you add more apple cider vinegar or water. If you want it to be thicker, then add more powder to thicken it up. Okay, now I'm about to apply this mask to my face. Here we are, final product. I'm looking crazy. I like to cover up my lips and everything because I'm just like, why not? Suck out all the toxins everywhere. And well, also because I have eczema and I get it sometimes on my lips and I like to just put it everywhere because this helps with my eczema, like I said, because I have a little outbreak here on my finger, so I just put some there as well. Um, 
I like to use this too as a detox under my armpits. You can do that. Um, you can put it anywhere on your skin. Uh, I'm not, I already showered this morning, so I don't want to shower again. So I'm just going to be doing the face in here. And then, yeah. So you just want it to dry before you wash it off. So about 15, 20 minutes maybe you want it to sit. But I definitely normally keep it on for longer. That's just me personally. Um, the more you keep it on, the harder it is to get off though. Because it gets like really ingrained in there. So I'll see you in a... Uh, 20-ish minutes or so and I'll be washing this off and show you what I do after that I look crazy <laughs> okay so it's been about 25 minutes and as you can see the face mask is pretty much dry except for here normally I wait until it's completely dry but my mom's senses are tingling and I have a sense my child is gonna wake up soon so I want to get this done before she wakes up so I can just do it um but i'm gonna be using some african black soap um yeah this covers like there's a lot going on because i use this all the time so that's what i use to wash my face so let's do this see look at how like the oil literally from oh my god my face feels so soft and smooth but it's like I feel like all the little oil bits come to the surface more um so now that I've rinsed it of the mask and washed it with black soap now I'm going to add some aloe vera gel just all over my face and aloe vera is just like really good for inflammation and it's just also a great toner and it's just all around amazing. I love aloe vera. I use it for like everything. <laughs> I just let that dry naturally on my skin. It's just gonna air dry and you'll know cause you won't feel it. It literally just, your skin absorbs it. So once that dries into my skin, then I moisturize. And guess who is up from her nap? Lyra Melody. <laughs> so aloe vera has dried on my face. Now to finish it all off, moisturize now i use a little combo of shea butter um i like whipped shea butter because it's just easier to put on your face and aloe vera butter i will be like That is my skincare routine. Skin's looking better already. Um, yeah, I try to do... So, like I said in the beginning, basically I wash my... Uh, I use the face mask about once a week. Maybe once every two weeks. <laughs> um, because I'm not always on top of my shit. But 
getting better and one of my resolutions for the new year is being more disciplined and sticking to what I say I'm going to do and doing what I know is good for me. So do the face mask, not every single day. And then every day I wash my face with black soap and then moisturize with shea butter and aloe vera butter. And I try, I don't use aloe vera every day, but almost every day. What I like to do, honestly, is when I'm going to bed at night, I will put a little layer of aloe vera onto my skin and let it dry. And then I'll put a tiny bit of like shea butter and aloe vera butter and I go to sleep. Um, and I do that especially when I have like a lot going on with my face because I know that it needs some, you know, just work. <laughs> Um, but like I said, the simpler the better and what works for you works for you. So this is really just my skincare routine. Everyone's skin is different. What works for everyone's skin is different. So do what resonates with you. But I like sharing my journey. So I hope you enjoy and be sure to subscribe, comment, like, share, check out my other videos. And um, yeah, Honey Magic out. See y'all for the next video. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.